Oh yeah. Well, yeah, pretty good. Good, good, good. One thing you should note is always go get a sim. We went to vote it for and they have a deal. Basically it's 25 euros. Forget this. 50 gigs of data. So you are set. <laughs> and uh, you have up to a month to use it. Yeah, so. Basically we haven't connected to Wi-Fi since obtaining that sim. Yeah. And We've just been streaming. We've been trying to use up all the data that we could. It's also worth it because we were trying to get around using the downloaded Google Maps, but they only have the uh, driving way, the driving directions. So having the actual data allows you to use the walking. Yeah, and like if we're switching up our routes or something where we want to see like any like supermarkets or like um, any restaurants nearby. It's just easier that way for us to track as opposed to us trying to find Wi-Fi and trying to figure out where we're going to go next. So for those of you coming, do that. We are just approaching the Trevi Fountain. I think I actually hear it. I see some water. Uh, I don't think that's the right water. <laughs> oh, it's so early and it's so full already. We made it. Love now. <laughs> to the Trevi Fountain. <laughs> How does it look? How do you feel seeing it for the first time? It's actually pretty intense, except for like the amount of hosing going on right now. Fun fact, I actually clean this fountain three times a week. So uh, if you come on the Monday, run, yeah, Wednesday, Friday, Friday mornings between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. So get here before that for the best optimal views, photos, if you don't want a large crowd. This crowd behind me right now, this is not much. With all my friends, all my friends. Don't come to the Trevi Fountain at nighttime. Repeat after me. Do not come here at nighttime. Get here early if you can. There are some spots here on the side, like some people are having breakfast, some people are already taking their photos. So it is very much so a tourist attraction, but it is one of the oldest fountains historically in all of Rome. Happy to be here with you, Baba. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Is this considered to be one of the seven one seven wonders of the world? Because we've already seen one. This is this which is was one? the twenty one chicken pizza. What's there to the wonder Chichen about? Itza. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I'm almost certain that this is one of the wonders of the world as well. I don't know. And if it's not, we just won't put this in the vlog. <laughs> yeah, we will. It's not even eight o'clock yet, but like Instagram reality. Basically a hop and a skip away after the Trevi Fountain is the Pantheon. Historical monument. Can I touch it? Now, to find the Neptune Fountain. It's in the Piazza Navona. Which is that way, exactly with my sentiments. Yeah, but I I'm thought telling it. you, get a SIM card. If you're going to Europe. Or just ask me and I'll tell you. Left, right. And then you see that one building and then left. And then look like that. It's pretty good, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
do it for the vlogs. Instagram is in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice sir. It's nice spot to chill. Definitely not as busy as like the Trevi or anywhere else. <laughs> mm -hmm. But very beautiful nonetheless. All right, let's get lost. <laughs> we have decided to take a uh, 18 to 20 minute walk to uh, see the Vatican. We didn't get tickets to go inside of anything. Yeah, we actually didn't have this plan for today, but we are, I mean, 18 minutes. Yeah, we're not too far, yeah. so we might as well just go as well take get a it over with. Because tomorrow we have a very strict uh, time slot for the Colosseum. Yes. So we want to make sure, you know, we have at least the morning to chill before that. And plus we're going to be going back to the Trevi Fountain first thing. So we might as well get the Vatican City over with today. Yay, yay. Another beautiful day in Rome. It hasn't rained once since we've um, we've gotten to Italy, which I much appreciated. But the reality is, are you are just drenched in sweat the entire time. But on the other side of things, we've just entered the Vatican City, which is actually an entire state all on its own. So it's it's in Italy, but it's not considered Italia got its own thing much like Canada you know we have like different provinces it's a province it's a state of its own it's got its own coat of arms it's got its own flag is it its own country is it its own country I believe so. is it is it though yeah I thought it was like a state or I think they're their own okay not too far now that's St. Vatican City uh, St. Peter's, is it St. Peter? Oh yes, yeah. St. Peter's Basilica. Traffic jam. Oh, traffic jam. I believe it's there, off into the distance. So we've been here like two minutes and there's been like, basically like a parade of police officers and ambulance or something's going on. Not quite sure what, but I hope we don't have to like find out. <laughs> been here before, it's at zero all the time. How did you get here? The rooftops. Go and, on. And a horse. Are you talking about a video game? Another lifetime. Perhaps Assassin's Creed. Italian poop. Nice. It's a monument. <laughs> monument is sh One of the shaking. wonders of the world. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of wonders of the world today. I wonder why someone went shh. So far, we're probably about 50 to 80 meters away and there's already a swarm of people. It's just shy of 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Here's the plan. First thing, smoke pellet to the ground. Boom. Knife out of the wrist. Bourgeoisie. Like that. Then you disappear into the smoke. And if all goes bad, climb to the top of the building, find a haystack, jump down. Prego. Si, 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 bene, va bene. Shit's going down. He definitely knows every martial art ever created. <laughs> that's a special move. Did you just move. take the hard Yeah, that's a special ah, move. That sounds like, that looks like your special move too. Yeah, but mine goes this way. How, what way? This way. Up the butthole. <laughs> so if you don't get here early, we're not going inside, so we don't have anything to worry about. But if you don't get here early, we're not really sure where the lineup starts. Somewhere over there. And it loops all the way behind me. Keeps going all the way around the square. And ends somewhere over there in the entrance. And if you're here in the heat, make sure you bring your water, you're hydrated, you have a sun hat with you. But then again, we're not gonna be lining up. We're just here, again, what are we here for? 
the views. Pretty much. Is that, is that my line? Sure. Okay. We heard somewhere, we watched a video somewhere that uh, apparently a certain time, I don't know if it's the day or a day of the week, but the Pope actually pops out his head and waves hi to people at one of these windows. I bet you I can make everyone look right now. No, please. Stop jumping and yelling. El Popo. <laughs> El Popo. El Popo. Water. There's Holy someone. water. Thanks. <laughs> There's 61 statues that line up on this side. Did you just count all of them? Wait, are those all the saints or are they all the popes? I don't know how many popes there have been. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really strange, ominous vibe. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of people here. It's just a strange feeling. Do you feel the same way? Yeah. It's just me? I feel like a passion. It's beautiful architecture. <laughs> <laughs> We've made our way to Campo di Fiore, which is a pretty much a, like a medieval plaza, which has a pretty dark history. I believe this is a statue of somebody. Insert the name right here. <laughs> A lot of vendors can smell the truffle. Tiramisu. I still have yet to have tiramisu on this trip. 100%. Looks like the, the restaurants and the vendors here are just setting up for lunch. We're kind of early. I think it's only 11, but I'm hungry. See, si, see, si, Malto Hungrio. What's Malto Hungrio? The wonderful thing about Italy is that there are many, many vegetarian options, also a lot of vegan options now. We've got an insalata, which is a salad. There's many layers going on here. There's some olives, um, some grilled zucchini, lettuce, some cheese, tomatoes, and then we ended up getting a eggplant with parmesan, which is apparently very lasagna-esque. It's so good. Yeah. And then uh, some french fries with Italian pepper and cheese. I don't even like any pie like that. Cheers. Mm. Mm. A little bit of the salad. Really fresh. Yeah. Really good. Delicioso. <laughs> um, Karen was able to get on the flight. I wasn't, so I'm here for a night alone.